here are some of the kinds of symptoms and deficits that you may come across. Emotional ones, where you get a triggering of anxiety, a triggering of anger or panic, all kinds of stress symptoms that can be generated by overventilating and by getting rid of too much of that carbon dioxide, overbreathing. You can get cognitive shifts when that blood flow is reduced in the brain so dramatically, it can lead to attention deficit or poor memory and learning deficiencies. It can interfere with communicating, socializing, working, resting, and exercising. It can play a major role in performance, in sports, and test taking, and public speaking, and operating equipment. It can produce all kinds of physical symptoms like dizziness and pain, headache. Consider, for example, when you reduce blood flow to the brain, your brain isn't getting enough sugar, and you're suffering from low blood sugar in the brain, and you get a headache. You can get numbness, fatigue, sleep disturbances, or psychological changes. Believe it or not, you can get personality changes in the same way you do when you drink too much alcohol. Same kind of thing. You don't have enough carbon dioxide in the brain, and it shuts down blood supply, and you can get personality shifts. You can get disoriented, disconnected, and dissociated. And it can exacerbate or exaggerate symptoms brought on by other problems you may have. Like if you have asthma, it can bring on asthma symptoms. Or if you're epileptic, it can bring on seizures. Or it can bring on high blood pressure if you have a high blood pressure problem. It's really quite amazing how breathing can affect our physiology and bring on all kinds of symptoms and deficits.